Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Strong Draws. My name is Brett Strong, and uh, today I am working on a, I guess you could call it a motivational poster of uh, Greg Capullo, or with Greg Capullo, of Greg Capullo, however you want to say it. For those of you who don't know, uh, Greg Capullo is the current artist on Batman. He took over when they relaunched the 52, uh, I guess it's been a couple years now. And that's kind of where I discovered him, and kind of, when I first saw, read the first issue, really loved it, and then I kind of went back in time and found out, found his old work, and then Spawn and whatnot, then just really loved his style, loved his work, and then I heard his interview of uh, with Kevin Smith on his Smodcast, uh, Batman on Batman, and just came to really respect him as an art, not only as an artist, but as a person. So he's been a big inspiration, big um, oh influence, I guess you could say, to me for the past couple years at least. So what I decided to do, I was at work the other day. I had a day job, and I just had this kind of. I guess it was a to me it was a funny idea of why not you know have him yelling at me to draw because. <clears throat> Like I said, at my, I, I have a day job right now. Right now I'm working 50 hours a week, five days a week. So I do five 10-hour shifts. And sometimes I get home, then I got to spend time with, with my family or take, you know, fixing the house or, you know, sometimes just sleeping because that's not something I do very often anymore. So I'm just not always in the mood at the end of the night to draw or something. So I just I just want something to be able to help kick me in the ass to get my ass in the chair so I can get some work done. So kind of a rundown of what's going on here is I, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm using Manga Studio 4 EX. I'm on my Wacom Cintiq, I think it's a 12WX, it's the 12 inch, I think those are the right letters. And I'm going over a sketch I did at, at work. I was just at work. The sketch took me maybe 20, 25 minutes of just, I mean, it's a pretty simple pose. It didn't take me very long. Kind of had an idea of what I wanted. So I just quickly did a sketch on a notepad at work and then scanned it in, uh, used Photoshop to turn it blue, brought it into Manga Studio. Now, what I wanted to start doing is, like I said, since, since I've worked so many hours and then I get home and have to draw, and sometimes, like, again, I'm either too tired or um, spending time with the family. Uh, doing chores, taking care of the house, whatever, you know, mowing the lawn, cleaning the gutters, whatever it may be. I, either I'm too tired or I just don't have enough time to actually sit down and get into drawing too much or as much as I would like because normally I'm, I'm doing, I want to do comic pages. And sometimes if I only have an hour, hour and a half to sit and do something, it's really hard to get into a comic book page because time you get revved up and get going it's time to stop and I have to be up at 6 30 in the morning and I you know there, there are nights I will stay up pretty late and get up and go to work but man that day just drags and so what I've what I've started doing or what I'm gonna start doing and kind of the this is the first video of that is I made a digital sketchbook in manga studio and um, for those of you who use manga studio um, maybe you know, maybe you don't know. If you don't use Manga Studio, <clears throat> what you can do, excuse me, is make basically a book. You can you you can choose the files. You, when you when you started, you can start either a new page, which is kind of like Photoshop. You open up an, a new file, or you can do a whole store what they call a story, and you can make up to at least I, I think in Manga Studio four, you can go up to ninety nine pages. I don't think the numbers will go higher than double digits. So what I did is I made this sketchbook. It's 99 pages long. And kind of the idea is for those nights where something takes up my time or I just, you know, not want to sit down to get into a comic page that I'm not really going to get to invest too much time to, cause it's and which is very frustrating. I figured I can do something like this take take a sketch that I have done throughout the day or in the past and just 
experiment and have fun and just just kind of basically ink the drawing that I the sketch that I did. And also, it, it, it's, I, I wanted I wanted to do this because on top of giving me some time or drawing something, because I, I usually sketch throughout the day at work when I when I have time at little breaks and stuff and over my lunch hour. But that's all they really are is just sketches, and it's kind of like the blue line sketch that this has gone over. But this not only allows me to draw, but it allows me to kind of experiment a little bit, try different things, where I can get a little more, try, try to find results that I want, or see if a technique works better, works faster, stuff of this nature. And th that's kind of what this sketchbook's going to be, and that's probably what primarily most of these videos are going to be for a while, is just me experimenting and having fun in this digital sketchbook. Usually when I ink, I do do um, basically full pencils, bring it in a manga studio, and would just use the G pen, I believe is the one I use, and just ink the whole page using that. What I found, and what I guess my problem with that I've been having with, or the struggles I've been having with that is, the the G pen is a pressure sensitive brush. It's actually the one I'm using right now. You can see as I can go, well, well, now I'm to the paint bucket tool. But what I was doing for all the line weights is it's it's all pressure sensitive. The harder you push, the thicker the line you get. The lighter you push, the thinner the line you get. And what I keep kind of running into, especially on a full page, it's not so much with just a single figure, is... You use line weights to indicate your light source. It get the lines get heavier away from the line, the light source to show essentially a shadow falling off of the line. And it, and it, I just was, it just doesn't. The problem again, the problem I've been having is trying to keep that consistent because it's a pressure sensitive brush. So I've been taking trying this technique or kind of playing with it, experimenting with it, see if this works. Is I'll first draw with the ma the magic marker tool and then go back over with the G pen and add my line weights later so it's just something I'm trying out see if that works again this is the, the sketchbooks all about experimenting trying new things uh, trying to get different results kinda like what I'm doing here is instead of using cross hatching or blacks I'm gonna use this gray color to show where my shadows are. And what I found was kind of, I didn't think about this till later after I was done with this, is I can go back after I do this, because for some reason doing it in this color I can see it a little easier. And I know I'm really zoomed in on this, but what you guys don't know, or maybe you do, maybe you don't, but I have a, with my Cintiq I have the zoomed in image that you're watching, and on my computer monitor I have it blown up so that I can see it full screen or I can see the full image so that I can kind of instead of zooming in and out all the time I can just look up and down and, and see if what I'm doing kind of works doesn't work if I'm liking what I'm seeing or not so um, I, with, with, so anyway back to what I was saying the, what I found with once I for whatever reason I can lay these grays in real easy and get and show light and shadow and form. What I didn't realize is that after I did this, I, I tried it later. If if I wanted it to be very dramatic and very black heavy, I can go back into Manga Studio, choose this layer, and turn it black, and it there are my shadows. For, I mean, other than little things like I'd have to bring out his belt a little more, bring out his hat a little more, because what you're going to see in a bit after I get all this done, I'm going to do it right now. Is I'm adding what essentially would be a uh, bounce light, I guess, or an ambient light, which would be, you know, the light coming from somewhere else um, that butts right up against the shadow. Maybe even a reflected light. It depends on who's ever coloring it, because I probably won't ever color this. But it can be any, you know, you can just bring out the the shapes and the form that's hidden away in the shadows. So, 
anyway, it looks like uh, we're getting pretty close to the end here. So um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you want to see the, f there, there'll be a bit of a, you kind of see it at the end. If you want to see the full version, you can go check me, check my uh, Facebook fan page out, or fan page. Yeah, my art page on Facebook, and you can, or you can go find me on Deviant or follow me on Twitter. There, I'll be uh, updating uh, on the current stories I'm working on. I am working on a, a short fan story. Um, you can go if you go on my fa uh, Facebook page, you'll see what I'm talking about. That once I'm once I'm done, I'll be giving away some free artwork, or I'll be holding a contest. So, if you guys want to go check that out. Um, follow me there to kind of keep up. I am also working on a new original character, creator own story. Again, updates on Facebook and Twitter. So all those links will be in the description below. So again, just finishing up here. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.